Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this double exposure effect in Affinity Photo. Double exposure is a technique that combines two images that are layered on top of each other. One of the images has its opacity set to a lower value, or has a different blend mode applied to it, which allows it to be superimposed on top of the other image. The combination of both images allows to create an artistic effect or to express a message. So here in this picture we have the image of the woman, and here we have the image of the buildings that is applied as a double exposure, and it has its blend mode set to screen, and its opacity lower to 90%. So for this tutorial I'm going to use two assets, that of the skyline, I think it is Shanghai, and that of the woman in the business suit, I will add the link in the description below so that you can follow along with me. So the first step is we take the selection brush tool, and we isolate the woman from her background. So make sure to select everything. So once we have done it, we go here to the Refine tab. And we output the selection as a new layer. So we need the woman isolated on its own layer. And then we can delete the background layer, as we are not going to need it anymore. And we are going to crop the layer, so that it is centered on the woman. And then I will add a colored background, so I'll add a pixel layer. And I will set the background color to a dark pinkish red. Alright, so once we have done it, we can go to File Place. And we are going to place the Buildings layer. So we place it into the composition. We bring it above the Woman's layer. And we need to rescale and reposition it so that the tall buildings here are above the Woman's clothing. So here we decrease the opacity to around 60%. And then we scale it up from the corner node, so that not to distort its proportion. And we, we reposition it like that, so that the tall buildings are above the woman's clothing, and we don't see the river at the bottom. And once we have done it, we can bring its opacity back up to 100%. And then we take the building's layer, and then we drag it into the woman's layer, and this creates a clipping mask. So now the building's layer is only limited to the woman's layer. And then we uncollapse the woman's layer. And then we go here to mask, while having the building's layer selected. We right click, and then we select empty mask. So now the Buildings layer is hidden. And then we take the Paintbrush tool. We set the color to pure white. And as you can see, when we paint white with the Paintbrush tool on the empty mask, that makes the buildings reappear. So this is what we are looking for. We are going to paint only when the clothes are, to make the buildings only reappear on the clothes. But we are not going to do it with a basic brush because it will look a bit blunt, so we press Ctrl Z to undo it, and then we go here to the brush panel. So it will look better if we do it with a brush that has a bit of texture to it. So for this particular project I will use the watercolor brushes. It is a set of brush that is built in in Affinity Photo. And I will start with a blurry wash brush. I will increase its width to around 400 pixels and also decrease its opacity to around 70-80%. And then I will go here to the More tab and I will give a bit of rotation to the brush so that it is not always applied in the same orientation. And then we are going to start painting with it on the woman's clothes, like this. And as you can see, when we paint on the clothes, that makes the buildings reappear. So this is what we are looking to do in order to create the double exposure effect. And we try to avoid painting on the hands and neck. So 
we keep painting until we have painting all over our clothes. And then we're going to change the brush to alter the texture a bit. So I will take the salty brush, the salty wash. And then the same thing, I will increase the width to around 400 pixels. And decrease the opacity to around 30-40%. And then the same thing, I will give it a bit of rotation. So that the angle at which it is applied is alternated. And then we continue painting on the clothing with it. So as you can see now, we can see the buildings better. So once we have painted sufficiently, we are going to paint black on our hands. So we change the color to black. So make sure to still be on the mask. And then to paint on our hands, we are going to use a basic brush. And we're going to choose a soft one. And then we paint on the hands to hide the buildings from her hands. So as you can see, with painting black, that hides the building. And also we're going to paint black on her neck to hide the buildings from there. We're going to decrease the opacity a bit. And also I'm going to paint black on the edge of her clothes to make the edge of her clothes reappear. So really with a really soft brush like this, really on the edges. And also the hair, we paint black on the hair to make them reappear. Alright, so once we have done it, we uncollapse the mask and we select the layer. And then we're going to change its blend mode to screen. Changing the blend mode of the layer to screen allows to see through it and gives the layer this uh, ghostly effect that we are looking to create for the double exposure. And also we are going to lower the opacity a bit to around 80% to make it less intense. So you can see before and after with the buildings applied to her clothing. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a double exposure effect in Affinity Photo. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Photo tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!